Hey guys, so another Unbounce tutorial. Today, I'm gonna teach you how Unbounce form works. So we will cover the different types of Unbounce form that you can implement into your landing pages. So without further ado, let's begin now. One, two, three. All right, so another Unbounce tutorial, and today um, we will discuss about the forms and the light box and like any type of lead magnet tools in Unbounce. And I will um, show you how you can navigate on those tools. In this video, we will work on the forms, okay? So let's start first on removing the existing light box. If there is a light box, there is existing forms on, on, this, on this side. Yeah. So we will start removing those ones. So how you can um, see if there is an existing light box. So if you go into the, into the forms, you will on the top part there that's called page form confirmation and dialogue. You can see in here that they there's a light box that was integrated in this um, page. So we need to remove that because I want to come up with just a, a simple form for this page. Then I will also share with you how you can add a light box in case you prefer the light box over uh, on a standard form. So in this part, if you click the light box there, there is like this is the light box and then if you click this one like this is the form on top of this light box now how you can remove this light box in case you don't want to use it so to remove the light box you click that light box there and then you click this area called delete then you will have like a warning in here that once you remove the light box you will lost the content inside the light box so this is the content that Lightbox is referring, this one. And it's already configured, so I'm going to show you later how you can reconfigure that in case you still prefer to create a Lightbox. So again, um, you click this one, and then you just click the delete, and then delete. So right now, like, we already deleted the Lightbox and the, the forms in it. So right now, you see in here that you can now add a form like i can now drag the form on this pages so that's how it works now i will show you shortly before we work on the forms like on the static forms i will show you shortly how you can re-add that light box so how you can do that simply just click the form so um button simply just just choose the um button elements Then you click that one and then you have an options in here like what do you want to prefer? Do you want to, to set, do you want to redirect that on a URL or we want it to go on a Lightbox? Um, go to the URL in Lightbox or show Lightbox. You can also come up with show Lightbox and then like you also have an options here like what type of Lightbox you want to be showed. Now you can create a light box on that if you don't have a, any existing light box. So click, click the light box and if you notice in here, there's new light box added on the like on this sequence where forms and then light box. And then if you check this um, like in this contents area bar, there is a new code or there is a new block added called light box button. Okay, this is the button, and then when you set that into light box button, like there is a new like light box button being added. So if you click this one light box, you can still you can come up with like a page or a text that you want. So I'm gonna drag like a sample of Blue Ribbon Zoom here to just just a sample. Let me pull that out. So this one. And then this one, and then I'm gonna like make the size a little bit bigger. 
and that. Oh, this is too much. But yeah, you get my point. I'm gonna remove this again because we will not, as I said with you guys, we will not use a light box. So let me just delete that one. Delete, and it reverts back to the page. So there's only one sequence. So I'm gonna delete that one as well. And I will add a form on it. So that's really how it works like um, in this part as well like if you want to come up with more better like font styling so if you want to um, make adjustment with the styles just click the forms or any type of locks in here and then you just configure your preferred styling in this area Page properties is about the global or the whole styles of your page. And yeah, something really interesting to use when in terms of marketing. Like I really like Unbounce, but it's it's good in sales or landing pages, but it's not good for like if you want this to be the foundation of your website and your blog. <laughs> nah, it's not really a good platform. And yeah, for let's say, actually let me just... Let me just cover as well the on click the pop up or sticky notes because this is like almost the same of our sticky bars and pop ups are kind of relevant to this topic. So let's say you go into your dashboard and then you go into this pop up and sticky bars. You can just choose your pop up thing. So let's say so all of these are pop ups. So let's just come up with another. Let's just scrub some of the text script in there so you choose your pop-up and then there is an options in here underneath that like you can choose in which part this pop-up you want this to be shown like this one like we've said it in here that it should be shows in this URL so triggers when the visitors exit the page and then there's also options in here like for the installation if you want to um, import this or you want this to be integrated in a third-party website so third-party website like WordPress Shopify Magento and other stuff so you just need to copy this one I go so I'm gonna click the contents over here and use the custom um, HTML and let's grab that one and then save the code and then I'm gonna move that over there and save and then let's preview that one if it works. We're gonna preview that, and then um, yeah, I don't think it's working. Yeah, it's in some points it's not working. So if you want to integrate the pop-up inside the Unbounce, I would say instead of using this um, embed code, I think you should just put a rule over here, like show on the URL that matches over here. So I hope, guys, that um, help you. If you have any questions and concerns, feel free to leave me a message on Facebook or email me. Happy to help you out. Thank you.